Hey, what's happening guys? I've got an interesting short video for you today. I'm getting ready to start putting together this little board I designed called the Mr. Duino, but you'll learn more about that later. Yeah, I just threw it again because I know that bothers some of you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, one of the components on that board is a crystal oscillator. If it'll focus. So I want to test my oscillator before I put it in the board to make sure that it is working properly. And what I've got here is a 16 megahertz crystal oscillator. So how do you test it? Well, you can have one of the crystal testers, but here is an easier way to do it using equipment that we probably all have in our lab. A function generator and an oscilloscope. So, firstly, you're going to want to set your function generator up at about 5 volts peak to peak. Sine wave or square wave, doesn't really matter. And I have the frequency here set for zero. Let's start it off at 10 megahertz. Okay? So now let's hook us, hook us, let's hook us up. <laughs> hook us up our, our crystal. So first of all, we're going to hook our grounds together. This is the oscilloscope. This is the function generator. Now they share the same ground. So they know as a reference what zero is. Now we're going to take our crystal. Crystals are not polarized. So it doesn't matter which way you do this. Clip one side of the function generator. Clip one side to the oscilloscope. So it is now in series with the function generator and the oscilloscope. And I'm just going to lay it down there. We don't need to touch it anymore. So there's our function generator. There's our oscilloscope. Let me shut this stupid light off. Okay. So, what do we got? We have 800, 900, well, let's call it 900 millivolts. I'll do an auto set. There we go. So, 872, so then again, we're going to call it 900 millivolts. And that is at 10 megahertz. Where's the measure, measure, add channel one frequency. Okay. There we go. So we can shut our measure off. Nope, come back. There we go. So our peak to peak is 872 millivolts. Our frequency is 10 megahertz. Now I'm going to take the scale down here. Because what's going to happen is when we get to the resonant frequency of the crystal, the voltage is going to go way up. So we're at 10. Watch the, uh, here, let me zoom in for you. Watch the frequency. We're going to go up to 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, as you're watching the frequency, watch the peak-to-peak -peak voltage. When we hit 16, if this crystal is good, the voltage is going to shoot way up. 15, 16. <laughs> Look at that. We're getting almost 12 volts, which is over twice what we put into it. Why is that? Resonance. Here's our crystal, and I'm going to disconnect it just so you can see there are no shenanigans. Nothing. There you go. Now, that's a 16 megahertz, which is the frequency of our crystal. If I turn it up to 17, back to nothing. Down to 15, back to nothing. Only at its resonance frequency do you get this effect. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And now you know how to test one of these two-pin crystal oscillators. Pretty cool, right? If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.